Hey there, welcome. How's my big family all around the world doing? If this is your first time watching, we're honored to have you join us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The United States is testing a new anti-gravity nuclear aircraft to take on Iran and Russia. Ever since World War II ended, US-Russia relations have been rocky, full of tension that's only escalated over the decades. Now, in the middle of all this drama, rumors are flying about a next-level American project, an anti-gravity aircraft. If this advanced tech is real, it could completely change modern warfare. But does such a plane actually exist? And if it does, what kind of insane capabilities does it have? What breakthroughs led to its development? Tune in to the Navy Power Channel to check out the new anti-gravity aircraft the United States is supposedly testing to counter Russia. This stuff is wild. These secret projects might even be tied to a special location. Antelope Valley, right between Palmdale and Lancaster, California. This place is home to some of the most high-tech military facilities and top aerospace contractors. We're talking about Skunk Works, the U.S. Air Force's secret division for advanced aircraft projects, plus industry giants like Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. Just up north, you've got Edwards Air Force Base, a major military testing hub. And even further out, the Naval Air Weapons Station at China Lake, adding even more mystery to the mix. And of course, there's the infamous Area 51 at Groom Lake, ground zero for UFO theories. One of the most legendary projects to come out of this shadowy world is the TR-3A Black Manta, a next-gen stealth recon aircraft. Built in secret by the U.S. Air Force and Northrop Grumman, the same team behind the legendary B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, the TR-3A is designed for invisibility. Unlike regular planes, it's got a sleek triangular shape, no protruding wings and a radar-absorbing surface, making it almost impossible to detect. Then there's Project Aurora, a mystery wrapped in secrecy. But what's got everyone talking is the TR-3B, an aircraft rumored to have an actual anti-gravity engine, allegedly reverse-engineered from crashed alien tech. Reports suggest the TR-3B has been spotted pulling off physics-defying maneuvers that make no sense according to modern science. This fuels speculation that the U.S. has cracked the code on anti-gravity propulsion. Supposedly, the TR-3B's engine uses nuclear power to spin mercury at extreme pressures, creating plasma and generating a gravity field. Ever heard of these stories? Some trace them back to Project Paperclip, when the U.S. brought over 1,500 German scientists after WW2 to develop advanced military tech. Theories about secret Nazi technology still fuel the TR-3B legend today. If the rumors are true, the TR-3A's development cost $6.7 billion. A lot of that going into advanced optical sensors and military-grade communication tech, which could completely shut down enemy communication systems. But the TR-3A isn't just some drone. It's believed to be a test platform for anti-gravity technology using a system called Electromagnetic Dielectric Amplification, or EMDA. This tech supposedly slashes infrared and radar signatures, allowing the TR-3A to reach hypersonic speeds and cruise at over 80,000 feet, way beyond what any current drone can do. So, has the US actually mastered gravity control? That's still up for debate. Another mind-blowing claim? The TR-3A doesn't rely entirely on human pilots. Instead, it's got an Adaptive Tactical Space Operations, or ATSO, system which lets it make independent decisions and adjust its course without needing commands from the ground. If any of this is legit, is the TR-3A just another classified drone, or is it part of a much bigger game-changing program? Some evidence might back this up. For example, if the TR-3B really does have an anti-gravity engine, it would need an insanely powerful energy source, way beyond current space propulsion tech. Interestingly, Lockheed Martin has already patented small nuclear reactors compact enough to fit inside an F-16 fighter jet. Could similar tech be powering the aircraft of the future? The hype doesn't stop there. 
Back in 2020, Dr. Salvatore Pius, an aerospace engineer linked to the U.S. Space Force, blew up in popularity after the U.S. Navy filed patents for some next-level tech, including gravity wave generators and space-time manipulation weapons straight out of a sci-fi movie. Another prime example? The B-2 Spirit from Northrop Grumman, better known as the Stealth Bomber, one of the U.S. military's most advanced aircraft. Developed between 1989 and 2000, this beast is designed to slip past enemy defenses using cutting-edge stealth tech. By the mid-70s, military aircraft designers discovered a game-changing way to dodge enemy missiles, stealth technology. The idea? Build planes with special shapes and materials that either deflect or absorb radar signals, making them nearly invisible when flying over enemy territory at night. The stealth bomber can basically ghost past radar-based weapon systems, making it a nightmare for enemy defenses. Ever imagined a future like that? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Flashback to 1947. Back then, radar systems were still pretty weak, so DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, took a bold step. They challenged U.S. aerospace companies to design an aircraft that could completely evade radar detection. The contracts went to Northrop and McDonnell Douglas, but Lockheed wasn't about to sit this one out. With experience from projects like the A-12 and SR-71 Blackbird, Lockheed jumped in too. Their past work already included key stealth elements like angled vertical stabilizers, composite materials and radar-absorbing coatings. But the real breakthrough came when aircraft designers started using computer modeling to create angled surfaces that would scatter radar signals instead of reflecting them. Why was this such a big deal? Because by 1975, Lockheed was turning these ideas into reality. They launched Project Have Blue, a stealth test aircraft designed to experiment with radar evading concepts. That summer, DARPA kicked off the XT or Experimental Survivability Test Program, awarding Northrop and Lockheed contracts to build and test prototypes. The total cost? Classified, but estimates put it at a huge chunk of change. Two prototypes, HB-1001 and HB-1002, were built as 60% scale models of what would later become the F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter. Testing happened in Area 51, Nevada. On December 1st, 1977, test pilot Bill Park took HB-1 on its first flight. But both prototypes were eventually lost due to mechanical issues. Still, Project Have Blue set the foundation for the F-117 Nighthawk, the world's first operational stealth fighter, which officially entered service in 1983. The tech from Have Blue, like angled surfaces, radar-absorbing materials, and electronic flight controls, influenced later stealth aircraft, including the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Lockheed's success led to the development of the F-117 a plane that became the ultimate symbol of stealth technology. Meanwhile, over at Northrop, Northrop was secretly working on Project Tacit Blue in Area 51, a massive leap forward in stealth aircraft development. Starting in 1979, Tacit Blue pioneered tech like low observable flight control systems, curved surfaces, composite materials, and advanced electronic intelligence systems. This directly led to the design of the B-2 stealth bomber, revolutionizing modern air combat strategy. Was this enough to completely change military strategy? By 1976, stealth tech had advanced so much that a long-range stealth bomber became a real possibility. This caught the attention of President Jimmy Carter, who, seeing where things were headed, canceled the B-1 bomber project in early 1978 marking a huge shift in U.S. military strategy. But with the 1980 election approaching, Ronald Reagan slammed Carter's defense policies, using the B-1 cancellation as a major talking point. So what happened next? On August 22, 1980, in a major reveal, the Carter administration officially confirmed that the U.S. was developing stealth aircraft, including an entirely new plane. The rise of the B-2 spirit from top secret project to stealth legend. The stealth revolution took off in 1979 with the launch of the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, originally operating under the classified codename Aurora. 
With intense competition heating up, two main teams emerged, Northrop Boeing and Lockheed Rockwell, both companies pitched flying wing designs. Northrop, using its experience from the YB-35 and YB-49 projects, proposed a larger design, while Lockheed went with a smaller tail concept. In 1979, designer Hal Marietta sketched out a concept that closely resembled the final B-2 design. At first, the U.S. Air Force planned to buy 165 of these bombers, but after some serious budget analysis, they chose Northrop's senior ice design over Lockheed's senior peg. The aircraft was eventually named the B-2 Spirit. Mission shift equals delays plus money. Initially, the B-2 was designed for high-altitude bombing, but as the program developed, the mission profile shifted to low-altitude terrain-following attacks, making things way more complicated. This change delayed the first flight by two years and bumped the cost up by $1 billion. By 1989, the total research and development costs for the B-2 had hit $23 billion. To ensure the bomber met strict modern warfare requirements, MIT engineers and scientists were secretly contracted to evaluate its effectiveness. In the 1980s, Northrop took the lead as the prime contractor for the B-2 program, working with major subcontractors like Boeing, Hughes, and VA aircraft. The project was kept super classified, with everyone involved needing top-level security clearance. Even though the B-2 program was highly secretive, it was less restricted than Lockheed's F-117 Nighthawk, meaning more government officials were aware of its existence and more info was released during development. Still, security was insane. Anyone working on the B-2 had to pass an extreme background check conducted by a specialized Air Force unit. Crazy costs and high maintenance. Flight operating costs range from $135,000 to $163,000 per flight hour. Annual maintenance per plane is $41 million. Total maintenance cost for the 20-plane fleet is $820 million. In December 2022, a B-2 was lost in an accident at Whiteman Air Force Base. Instead of repairing it, the Air Force scrapped it due to insane costs, cutting the fleet to 19 bombers. How the B-2 stays ahead in fifth-generation warfare. What keeps the B-2 relevant in an era of advanced radar tech? Continuous upgrades. In 2024, the Spirit Realm 1 upgrade boosted communication and weapons systems using an open mission systems architecture to keep the B-2 tactically superior. In 2021, the Defense Management System update enhanced enemy radar detection, letting the B-2 adjust flight paths in real time. The 2024 Tech Leap introduced a new computer processor that increased processing speed by 1,000 times, giving the B-2 real-time battle data capabilities like never before. Weapons upgrade? Integration of the JAS-SM cruise missile, giving the B-2 longer-range strikes and enhanced penetration power, solidifying its legendary stealth attack capabilities. In 2023, Northrop Grumman introduced a new radar-absorbing coating to keep the B-2 hidden from the latest radar systems. Combat proven, the B-2's global power. The B-2, Spirit flexed its dominance during the 1999 NATO air campaign in Kosovo. In just the first eight weeks, the B-2 destroyed 33% of Serbia's strategic targets, flying non-stop missions from Missouri to Europe and back without landing. That's next-level global reach, hitting targets from unexpected distances without being detected. Is the B-2 worth the $23 billion price tag? Even with its massive costs, the B-2 remains one of the most powerful stealth bombers in the world. But with the B-21 Raider emerging, will the B-2 keep its dominance? For now, it remains a critical part of the U.S. Air Force's deterrence strategy. So, what do you think? Is the B-2 Spirit worth the massive investment? Drop your answer in the comments below. By the way, the B-2's production facility, it was originally a Ford car assembly plant in Pico Rivera, California, before being completely redesigned for stealth bomber production. Top secret ops, spy games, and the rise of stealth tech. The workers building the B-2 bomber were sworn to absolute secrecy, no leaks, no slip-ups. To keep things locked down, military officials would frequently visit the factory dressed in civilian clothes.
On top of that, employees had to take polygraph tests for years to ensure they weren't spilling the beans. For the longest time, even the Government Accountability Office and Congress had zero clue about what was going on. The first bits of info about the B-2 only started leaking in the mid-80s. Then, on November 22, 1988, the world got its first official look at the B-2 at Air Force Plant 41 in Palmdale, California, where it was built. But even then, the event was highly restricted. Guests weren't even allowed to see the tail section of the bomber. Too bad for the Air Force, though. The sharp-eyed reporters at Aviation Week realized there were no airspace restrictions over the factory, so they took aerial photos of the B-2's classified tail section, including its hidden engine exhausts. F-117 Nighthawk, so secret. Even the Pentagon was clueless. Another game-changing stealth jet was the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. This thing was so classified that even top Pentagon officials had no idea it existed. The mystery surrounding the F-117 fueled a ton of wild UFO conspiracy theories, with people claiming to see unidentified flying objects in the sky. But for some in the Navy power community, the F-117 wasn't just a technological marvel, it was also a massive black hole for taxpayer money. Was the F-117 a budget nightmare? Each unit cost $42.6 million in the 80s, which is about $129 million in 2025 dollars after inflation. The total program cost? A mind-blowing $30.2 billion, enough to buy over 150 brand new F-35S, fund an entire country's defense budget for years, build 300 plus luxury yachts, or launch 30 plus Mars missions like NASA's Perseverance. That kind of spending is straight up insane. The mystery of the F-19, did it even exist? With so little info about stealth fighters back then, rumors started flying about a fifth gen mystery jet called the F-19. Nobody knew much, but model companies like Revel Monogram started selling plastic kits based on supposed leaked Area 51 designs, calling them Hillary and Chester. Yep, weird names. But when the F-117 was finally revealed to the public in late 1988, all those F-19 rumours were instantly debunked. Some believe the F-117 codename was a deliberate misdirection, a way to confuse the Soviets about what the jet was really for. The F-117 proved its worth during Operation Desert Storm, where it showed off its insane stealth abilities. But then, disaster struck. When an F-117 was shot down, a major international incident erupted. China, always hungry for military tech, jumped at the chance to get a close-up look at the wreckage. The Yugoslav government reportedly let Chinese officials examine the crash site. Chinese agents allegedly bought pieces of the wreckage from local farmers to reverse engineer the stealth tech. That crash blew open a new chapter in stealth fighter development. After the F-117, McDonnell Douglas and Boeing teamed up to create the Bird of Prey, a next-level stealth aircraft with a wild, hawk-like design. What made it special? Unreal radar evasion capabilities thanks to its revolutionary aerodynamic design. Engineers left no gaps in the airframe, using flexible covers to seal everything up tight. Even the engine intakes were hidden to reduce its radar signature. This high-tech bird was a huge leap forward in stealth aviation, using advanced computer simulations to predict performance before it even flew, a major upgrade from old-school prototype testing. At first, people doubted whether this futuristic design could even fly, but when it finally took off, it proved the concept beyond a doubt. So, what do you think? Was the insane cost of the F-117 and B-2 worth it? Or was the stealth arms race a massive budget black hole? Thanks a ton for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. At X News, we're committed to bringing you fair and real news. See you in the next